Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the menu options for the pushing uh, PX888K and uh, just go over uh, some of the definitions and the functionality of this menu. Um, like I mentioned in my previous review when I did the unboxing, I'm not an expert on this, so if I make a mistake, uh, feel welcome to leave a comment down below. I'm 100% sure that any of my viewers or anybody that does watch this video will be interested in getting the right information. So let's start off. All right, so I got this in focus. There we go. So to start off with, uh, we'll look at the menu. So you push the menu, uh, as mentioned in the unboxing video, uh, this lets you scroll through with this knob right here. And uh, you'll see that it skipped from 14 to 23. That's because uh, the menu that's in between there are partially um, software. You need the software to do the programming for it, or it's for programming in channels into your radio. All right, so, the first item on the menu is scan. So basically this will just go in and scan all your channels. So as you can see, I hit enter on there and it's going through all my channels, looking to see if there's any signal. And uh, that's pretty basic. So to get out of that, just hit escape. The second option is this is a priority channel scan. So what happens with this is that you can set channels to be a priority that you want to scan. So for example, um, let me get back in there. If I start scanning, you'll see it goes one, it goes through all the other channels, but it keeps on going back to one to see if there's a signal because I set that as a priority channel. So very basic on that. Okay, so the next one is Vox. And this stands for voice operated switch. So basically you can set it to different levels of sensitivity. And basically uh, when you have this on, you can uh, talk into your radio without having to use the push to talk button. And it will uh, receive your signal. Uh, the sensitivity is like three, it'll take a couple seconds for it to uh, hear your voice and then generate uh, whatever you're saying over the radio to whoever. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I can see that having uh, uses. I can also see it being a deterrent, um, but you do have that option that if you don't wanna use the push to talk and you just have a microphone connected to this, you can have it so it's voice activated. All right, so the next one is your power. So you have your high and low power. So there's your low power, high power. I have it set to high power. This basically means that it's gonna generate uh, a higher signal strength. The next one is your squelch. Uh, the default setting is five. Uh, this is what's recommended. Uh, it has a, the ability to do all the way up to nine and zero to nine. So as mentioned, five is a default. And what this does is it suppresses annoying sounds when radio is not receiving a transmission and basically, it, so it's filtering noise. All right, so the scrambler, uh, this is an interesting one. Right now I have it set to eight. Uh, so this one's set to eight. I'm going to escape out of there. I'm going to turn on this radio. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit higher on this one. This one I had set to 8 because I wanted them to work together. But we'll switch it up. And we'll turn it off. There we go. So I'll put the radio here and I'll go over here and you'll see. Hello? Hello? Feedback. Hello. Hello. Uh, hold on a second. 
I think you need to turn off the radio first, then turn it on. Let me try this again. Apologize. So that's basically what the scrambler does. It uh, you can set it to all multiple different channels. Um, it's one to eight and then off. So if I go back into my menu and put the scrambler to eight. So you escape out of there, turn off the radio, turn it back on. I'll turn up the volume a little bit. Radio check, radio check. So as you can see, now that they're both set to eight, um, you can hear my voice clearly. Uh, so basically it just is, it scrambles and garbles your voice so that other people may be listening on that frequency. Unless they have it set to that setting, um, they won't be able to understand what you're saying really. So that's a pretty cool function. All right, so moving on. Uh, the next one should be light. So it's going to be sort of hard to see, but you can see that it's blue. So you have the option of orange, sort of hard to see, purple, and blue. So your, those are the three options that you have. I like blue. So very simple for that one. Beep off. This is just basically so when you're uh, keying in numbers or something on the keypad, they make a noise. So if you turn it on, see now it's going, just beeps. Come on, escape, escape. Come on out of there. Uh, I'll just turn off the radio, turn it back on. So I don't want, I don't like having the beep on. annoying all right the next one is voice so basically this lets you have the option of all different languages Enter. so now that's on English if you hit a button I mean escape out of there Channel two. Channel three. so you get a voice with it Menu. And so we got Chinese, English, off. off. So it's got two languages on it. Escape. Um, Enter. Off. There we go. Okay, so the next one, I'm still learning about this one, but it's ANI, and it stands for Automatic Number ID. So basically, if you turn it on to, there's uh, three different selections. You have, uh, oh, there's four. Off, you have BOT, EOT, and both. So one is beginning of transmission, end of transmission, and both. So I'm just going to set it to bot. I'm going to hit enter and then escape. And I just want to double check on this. Radio. Oh. I don't have this on the proper channel. Hold on. There we go. So it beeps. Radio check. It sends a tone. Um, pretty sure you need. Oops. You need this one set to it as well. So. Ape. Turn off both radios. As I find that sometimes when you use some of the settings that you need to turn off the radio and turn it back on. So when I send a signal, it's not sending the channels. 
Hold on a second here. One of these radios actually might not have a name on it yet. So that might be the reasoning why it's not showing me what I want it to do. So there we go. So see, it says the name of the radio, what channel was uh, broadcasting on. If I do it on this one, I think this is, yeah, this one I've got numbered. Just say one, two, three, four, five, I think. Maybe not. There we are, one, two, three, four, five. So that's what NI is. It's, uh, sorry, it took me a little while to do that. Um, but basically it sends a radio ID. Uh, I would, uh, see the use of this would be like with police, security, military, um, so that if someone transmitted and didn't speak and such, and maybe they're in trouble or something or something was going on, uh, and you have them stationed at certain locations, um, and you have a, you know, a ID number map of what locations that radio should be at, then you know what location they're at and you might be able to send help or whatever um, and you know who transmitted to you. So <laughs> I'm gonna turn that off because I'm not using that. I got it off escape. All right, so while we're on the topic of ANI, uh, there's other stuff that has to do with it, DTMF and some other transmission modes and such that I'm still learning about. Um, those features, uh, you can go into the menu and punch in a number to get to them and then try and program them that way, but majority of it is done through the software. Um, like having that number that showed up on the one radio, the one, two, three, four, five, that is something that as far as I can tell so far, you can't set manually through the radio. You have to do it through the software. All right, so moving on. The next option is keyboard. So this is manual and auto. So basically this is just for locking the keypad um, I don't use that. Uh, the next option oh, went out is TOT. This stands for Transmission Timeout Timer. Uh, so basically, uh, you can set your radios with all different times up to, I think it's three or, what was it, 270, 270 seconds. I set mine to a minute. Um, this allows so that uh, if the button gets pushed by accident, it'll turn off automatically and won't keep on transmitting after a minute or 60 seconds. Um, this will make it so you don't burn out your radio, uh, you don't waste power on it and such. Uh, cool little feature. All right, so off to number. So here we've got scans. And basically, um, this is a setting for when you use the scan function. Um, you have SE here, that means it's search operation. Uh, basically, it just it searches until it finds a channel and then it stops. Wrong one. You have CO, which stands for a carrier operation. So it resumes when signal is lost. So it'll scan, find a channel. And it'll stay on that channel as long as there's a broadcast. But as soon as there's no more broadcast and no signal, it will move on. And I really wish when you're in the menu that it would stay in the menu. That's one thing, one thing that bugs me. 
And then finally, you have the TO, which is time operation. So it resumes after five seconds. So even if it finds a channel, um, after a couple seconds, it'll continue on looking for other channels as well. All right, so the next one is your narrow and wide band. You can switch your radio to be a narrow band or wide band for whatever channels and such. I have mine all set to narrow band. Um, you know, different people have different opinion on this. I use this because uh, it uh, has less noise. It gets rid of the noise of wide band. Wide band will get rid of the noise of narrow band as well, but it does do that. It's better for voice communication. Um, it also, from my understanding, has further reception. So that's why I use narrow band. This next one, LED, um, has three settings. You have auto, on, and off. So basically that's your backlight for your screen here. So off is just it's off. On means it's always on. I set mine to auto. So basically whenever a button's pushed or whatever, then it turns on and I can see the screen. Roger off basically is that when you send a signal, uh, you have two options of off and uh, different beep tones at the end. So I have mine set to off because I don't need that. Um, so basically here I'll set it to uh, one. And if I transmit, uh, let me put this radio on. If I transmit, it'll beep on the radio saying that it was the end of uh, your conversation or whatever, what you had to say it means you let go of the button and such. So I don't use that feature. So I can go backwards here. So we have sad ad, which is basically for when you scan, if you find a channel, you can add it. It's a little bit of the programming part. And then the channel name, um, you can go into your channels, like set it to whatever channel. So right now it's GRMS one. Um, that's because my first 22 channels I have set to GRMS. So as you can see, that's the channel programming that I did. And if I go in here, oh, so GRMS1, if I want to rename it, I can, but that's just for naming your channels after you've programmed them in. Um, you can do that also through the software, which I'll show later on when I do another video on how I uh, programmed all the channels. So right now I've got, uh, that's all the options pretty much. That's There's 26 options there's some in between uh, between 14 and 23 there that you can do other stuff but it has to do with ani and um, just when you're programming different channels in and setting your ctss and such uh, which you can all do through the software which i prefer uh, i have 122 channels programmed into this and as you can see it works I'm very happy about that i ended up saving all the default uh, channel information i put that into a file and then, because uh, I had this other radio already, I uh, basically cloned it onto this one. So I get all the channels. There's a couple things I need to go in and change on this one when it comes to uh, just uh, other naming properties, like when I was doing the ANI and such, uh, which I'll get into later on. So overall, I'm really happy with these radios. Um, I hope that this video helps you guys out there uh, with just the basics of what the menu does. Um, there's other other key features here, like you can go through. This cha uh, changes to your B channel if you need to. Uh, escape. This basically goes through all the information that you've done with that channel. So I named it GMS1. I got uh, the channel uh, frequency. So it's channel 1. Uh, the other cool feature about these radios uh, that I'll just get touch on slightly here is that... Uh, dual channel so if I'm speaking on channel one and I want to talk to someone on channel four I can switch to that channel oops wrong button I can switch to that channel and talk to them 
but I'm also able to have two different channels if I want to. So if I want to here, I can be on channel 122, and then that's, uh, I think, a Motorola channel that I cha uh, programmed in. And so now I'm broadcasting on channel A, but I'm also can listen to whatever people are saying on channel 122. So, and then if I want to communicate with someone on channel 122, I can switch to that channel and communicate with them. So that's the basic functionality of this row of keys. Uh, the main one being the menu and then being able to switch through the options and such. So as mentioned, I hope this video helps some of you guys with just some of the basics. And uh, I hope you have a great day, a great week and take care.